today, I want to share a secret with you. Whenever the clock changes to 11.11, or if we're out on one of our night walks and we look up in the sky at a bright shining star, I make a wish. Inevitably, you always ask me what that wish is and I never tell you. I want to share that wish with you today. Each and every time, I wish for the blessing of our continued health and safety. I wish for that each time because as long as we have that, I get to live every day of this life with you. We are gathered here on this beautiful fall day in the presence of God, family, and friends to unite Lindsay Gale Mullick and Jeremy David Yepsen and Holy Matrix. From the time you walked into the local, I knew you were special. Aside from being drop-dead gorgeous, you were confident, fun, and just a little crazy. You have been a comforting and calming presence in my life since the beginning. Your reassuring words and head scratches have the power to ease any worries or fears I have. As selfless as you are, I promise to prioritize your wants and needs and give you the comfort and support you deserve. I didn't realize how much my world would change for the better the night that you came into my life. When I think of you and my love for you, my heart fills up. I promise to love you without condition and always give you room to grow. I vow to be your partner, to challenge you, and in the days to come, occasionally annoy you. Every decision in my life has led me to you. You're a magnificent man, and it's a dream that I get to marry you today. You have a unique way of challenging me to be the best version of myself without ever trying to change me. You see my potential and encourage me through any phase of change. I promise to continue growing and evolving alongside you. I promise to protect and to provide as best as I can. Time and time again, you put my needs before your own, showing me what it means to love unconditionally. I promise to reciprocate that love, to always consider your feelings, and to be there for you as your biggest supporter. Lindsay, I love you. Making a smooth path in marriage is not our responsibility. The courage to embark and the strength to continue is where our effort must go. I promise that you will never, never feel like you need to face a day alone. Even the moments when anxiety decides it wants to take up all your time, I'll be there to help you take that time back. I promise to love you just the way you are. I adore you, Jeremy Epson, every inch of you. My best friend, my brightest light, my husband from this day forward. Lindsay and Jeremy, having witnessed your vows for marriage before God in this loving community, by the authority vested in me by the state of North Carolina, I pronounce you husband and wife. Jeremy, you may kiss your bride. Lindsay, we knew when you were younger what you were going to be. You were adventurous, curious, cautious, cautious, but you just had this way about you, and you made it easy for us to be parents. And I think that's why you chose the field you did to make a difference in people's lives and to make this a better world for all of us to live. Jeremy, you can walk into a, he can walk into a room and he can make every single person in the room feel as if he has known them for a lifetime. And that is a gift. That's a big gift. Jeremy is compassionate, smart, 
hardworking, selfless, enthusiastic, especially when it comes to watching sports. And what I love about Jeremy is that he's chosen Lynn's every day since the moment they met. I could not have handpicked a better person for my best friend. I love you. But Lindsay goes without saying how much of a genuine human being you are. You have the purest, most kindest heart and care so deeply about others, which explains why you ended up in the profession that you are. You have a way of being the best sounding word through tough times and the biggest cheerleader during the best times. You bring joy and happiness to every room you enter. And I can truly say that this world is one million times brighter because you are in it. It's not every day that you hear a story like yours, but from the moment I saw the two of you together, I knew that it had to, it was the kind of thing that is going to last a lifetime. Lindsay, you and I might be soulmates by fate, but I couldn't be happier that you found your chosen soulmate. You two mean the absolute world to me, and I can't wait to see what this incredible adventure has in store for the two of you, or three of us, since you're stuck with me. <laughs> Cheers to the Epsons! came here for